Hello friends, welcome to today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It's really good to have you. If you are not new, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys a very random assortment of things that I have been loving the last couple of months-ish. Um, I needed a lighthearted, fun, good time video. Um, if you're here for the first time, welcome. <laughs> um, this will all be news to you. If you're not here for the first time, um, and you saw my last video, you know that we lost our baby girl. Um, I miscarried at 13 and a half weeks uh, at the end of September. And I just um, I shared with you guys about that earlier this week and now I just want to just chat with you guys and have a good time. Share with you some stuff that I've been enjoying and uh, I thought that would be a fun way to kind of re-enter the building without, you know, talking about anything too heavy. So if that's cool with you, let's jump in. All right, guys, like I said, this is truly a very, very random assortment <laughs> of things that I have been loving. Um, there's a chance that at least a couple of these things you will have seen me share before because there are things that I have really enjoyed and used for a while. But I think most everything here is new. There is stuff that I've talked about on my channel before, um, but some of it I have not. So. Let's, I'm just gonna, I have a chair in front of me with just a pile of stuff and a couple things on the floor. So uh, it's enough jabberwocky, let's get into it. Um, number one, this is probably my most reordered item off of Amazon, these sunglasses. <laughs> I love them so much. And the reason I have to reorder them is because I have eight children. And um, sometimes my sunglasses get lost or they get broken and I have to replace them. I do have a couple different colors of these. Um, this is my favorite, kind of the tortoise with the brown lenses. I have another pair that I really like. I think they're in my bag out in the hallway. They almost have like a greenish tint to the lens. I really like those as well. But these are just, I like a big sunglass. Big sun, does that make sense? I like a big sunglass. No, I like big sunglasses. I don't know. I like big sunglasses. I feel like it helps to balance my honker. Um, and I just like the style. I just like big sunglasses and these kind of have a bit of a retro, like almost aviator vibe without being aviators because I don't like metal frame sunglasses because I don't like sunglasses with a nose piece because they get caught in my hair. Don't like them. So all one piece. That's, that's my jam. Next up, I'm just grabbing things. This is going to be a mix guys. If you want me to have all beauty and all accessories and all of that in one or like in order in sections. Sorry, you're not getting it. The next favorite thing on my list, this candle. I have not always been a candle. Well, I was a candle person for a while and then I stopped burning them all together, but then I really missed like the candly vibe. I have candles burning behind me right now. This one though is my absolute favorite. Um, it's from Target. It is made with essential oils. It is called Intention. I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty bright. With Palo Santo and thyme, and the scent is just, oh, it's not sweet, but it's not like super sharp. It's like musky and subtle and warm, and oh, it's so, so good. I love it, love it so much. Um, that candle behind me, that's the Intention one burning on the, uh, the dresser back there. And I think that's my fourth, one of those? Yeah, fourth one since we moved into this house. So that was the beginning of September. So two months ago? Yeah, I go through them quickly. Moving on, these right here. I just got a new package in. Um, these are the Paw Paw Wonder Blenders. Um, if you wear makeup, if you like using beauty blenders, I've talked a lot before in the past about the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, and that is a good sponge. These, however, are a lot cheaper. You get six of them, I believe. Yeah, six for, a, I think it's about $10. Um, and these are closer to me, to the texture of the Real Beauty Blender, which is like $20, $20 for one sponge. This is like six of them for $10. Yeah. 
it's a great deal. Anyway, they wash really easily. It's not like, you know, this is not like a one, one use and done kind of thing, but when they kind of start to fall apart or they're not cleaning as easily and they're holding on to too much, like makeup or overly stained or whatever, then I move on to another one. But this six pack will last me. I don't know. I think I probably go through one a month because I wash them every, like every time I use them. Every time I go to use, do my makeup, I wet my sponge because you're supposed to use these. Damp, if you didn't know, but I just go ahead. I have a bar soap in my bathroom right next to my sink that I use to clean it every time I use it. Rinse it out, squeeze it out, and then it's ready to use on my face. This is also, I think, the second or third time I had repurchased this from Amazon as well. So if it's a repurchase, you know it's a good thing. Um, let's talk a little bit, I guess, okay. We'll talk a little bit about um, skincare stuff. I've had a couple comments on Instagram recently and a couple here on YouTube, you guys are very kind, asking about like what I do for skincare or whatever. I'm terrible at skincare. I really, really am. I used to be better and then I got out of the habit and then just life and I'm lucky if I grab some micellar water on a cotton pad and quick wipe my face before bed. That's kind of the stage of life I'm in right at the moment. Um, but I'm 39 years old. I don't feel like my skin looks 39 years old. Part of that is genetics. I have oily skin and that tends to keep your skin from being as wrinkly <laughs> um, and textured. Uh, and Well, maybe not textured entirely. I do have slightly textured skin. Anyway, oily skin helps, but these two things. This is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. Yes, it is a physical scrub. I don't care. It's made with sea kelp and French green clay. Um, I love this stuff. I use it, you know, two or three times a week just in the shower. I just keep it in there. And then this primer I have fallen in love with. It is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. So I moisturize, I do my under eye um, moisturizer, and then this Banana Bright banana bright face primer. Most of the time I wear this and then I do concealer and uh, I do cream bronzer, cream blush. I don't wear powders on my face at all. Um, and I feel like that helps it look, you know, glowy and less textured. I don't like powders. I don't like the way they sit on my skin, so I don't use them. Not even blush anymore. I do have one blush powder that I will use occasionally to like top my cream blushes, but mostly cream products. But the Banana Bright Face Primer, it just, it does, it just brightens your skin. It just makes your complexion just look brighter. And I'm here for it. I really enjoy that. Next up, let's talk about this not my phone in particular, although I do enjoy my phone. It's the 13, <laughs> I almost said Pro Mega, no, Pro Plus, I think. Um, but the case, this case, so it's like one of those wallet cases. It's got a little snap on it so you can, you know, stick, and I have done that a couple times, like just stick my ID and a uh, debit card in there, but it um, has these hooks on the bottom so that you can attach this strap. So if you are wearing something that doesn't have pockets, or if you just want a quick, easy way to run into the store, like you can throw your little crossbody phone on with your, with your cards in the little thingy here, and you're good to go. Um, I got it specifically because I wanted it when we went for Sukkot for the Feast of Tabernacles because I wanted the ability to just throw my phone like and not have it be in the way if I didn't have pockets on, if I was wearing leggings or sweatpants or something without pockets and wanted to keep my phone on me for taking pictures or getting in touch with my husband or one of my children or you know what have you. But um, I feel like the bandolier style, the crossbody phone cases are becoming more popular. I'm seeing them a lot more. Um, and this one is from Amazon. I think it was right around $30. So um, felt fairly affordable to me for what it is. It gets the job done. I have dropped my phone multiple times in this case. No cracks, no, no issues <laughs> with the screen. So it does protect your phone well. So it has that going for it too. I'm a fan. All right, let's talk, oh, this. Let's talk this thing right here. This is a joy and a delight. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx, but they do, I have seen them also, I think at Target recently. Was it Target or Walmart that I saw them? It's by Sharper Image. It's just a, like a heat thing. You can stick it in the microwave or you can stick it in the freezer. It's filled with like herbs. 
so it smells oh, it smells so good and it's soft and it's it's kind of heavy it gets a little bit weighted so if you are the kind of person who likes that sensory input of the weight um, as well as like the warmth if you stick this baby in the microwave mm, it's so cozy I especially like using it like when I come into my office to work you know at like 6 a.m. in the morning <laughs> At 6 a.m. in the morning, that was redundant. If I'm in the office early in the morning, like reading my Bible or working, I love to warm this up and it's like a little warm hug. I feel like Olaf. I like warm hugs. This is a this is a warm hug right here. Oof. All right, let's talk about essential oils. Um, this right here. I used the poo out of these, the Young Living Aroma Rings. Um, when I was pregnant, if I had a little bit of queasiness or nausea or if smells in particular were really bothering me, I would just take one of these Aroma Rings. Oh no, that's right. I saved the box so that I could show them to you, but they're not in here. They're in here and I'll show you this in a second. Um, just, you take these little Aroma Rings and really trying really hard to pull one out to show you guys. Hold tight. Where did my rings go? Did one of my kids lose them? That feels like a distinct possibility. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. So you take this little, it's just a little silicone ring. I mean, it literally just looks like a, a nose piercing, but it's not. And it's got like the rounded ends and it just goes right there on your little schnozerator. It's not too noticeable when you're wearing it. It tickles at first, it takes a second to get used to. Um, this one is dry, it doesn't have any oils on it. But the aroma ring that I used most when I was pregnant um, is from Young Living, it's their Aroma Ease um, essential oil, which helps with nausea and, and just feelings of like stress and whatever. Uh, but these can be pricey. They are reusable, um, which is what? At this for. So somebody reached out to me on Instagram and said that they found the place to get just like the blank rings. Um, and it is from this company called Essence. And so I have a travel case. And then inside the travel case, there's a slot to put your essential oil. And then this is your soaking tray. So you just put like one or two drops of carrier oil, uh, like coconut oil or you can use avocado oil or sweet almond oil or whatever and then one drop of your essential oil and I have the Young Living Aroma Ease oil itself and you just let it soak um, and it absorbs into the silicone and you can reuse them and re-soak them I think like 25 or 30 times. It's way more affordable than purchasing the Aroma Rings from Young Living um, but these were a lifesaver. They came in clutch. Um, we're almost through, guys. We're almost through my little pile of favorite things. Oh, did I talk about this one yet? I don't think I did. Here's another one for the lips. Uh, this is the Glossier Cherry Balm.com. It's their universal skin salve. Listen, I'm going to be real with you. This is tinted. It is what I'm wearing on my lips. It's a pale pinky red tint. I'm not sure I would put this anywhere on my body, right here on these little lips uh, because it is tinted. I have one complaint about this. I like cherry in general. I like the scent. I like, it's not really flavored, which is fine. Um, it is very hydrating. I really like the way it feels on my lips. But the cherry scent, if you know, you know, cherry always means a little bit medicinal. I feel like it always smells a little bit like cherry cough syrup. <laughs> it's not the worst. I have smelled stronger and worse cherry scents before. Um, I don't hate it. It's not so bad that I won't use it, but it does have a little bit of that medicinal kind of scent to it. Um, but I really like the way it feels on my lips. I like how it looks. It's hydrating. It gets the job done. I'm a fan. We're almost through. We're almost through guys. Two more things. All right. Number one, would I be an influencer if I didn't have a Stanley? <laughs> Mine is decorated with this beautiful um, Covenantal Beloved. That's our women's ministry at church. Elephant, and then these stickers, the extra. 
Romans 12, 10, outdo one another in love, and I get to. Anyway, those stickers are not the point, but they're on my Stanley, so I thought I would show you anyway. Um, cat hair on my lid. It fits in the cup holder, you guys. It fits in the cup holder. It holds a ton of water. Um, I have purchased, and I'll link these because my kids lost the original straw many, many moons ago. I just buy a big pack of straws. <laughs> they never seem to last long around here. Um, I buy the straws on Amazon and then I always have replacements and backups. But what can I say? Is it worth $40? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I use it, so I'm getting my $40 worth out of it, but only you can decide if it's actually worth $40 to you. There's another one, and I don't know what makes it different because I haven't looked into it, but that's like $60. I'm not sure what the difference is because I think they're the same size, so I don't know for sure, but this one was $40. I will, that's the one I will link. Okay. Two more things. I lied. I said there were two more things. Now there's two more things. Okay. Um, this Bible that I have been reading last year, I read the Bible in 23 days this year. I wanted to read through the Bible again. And when I say year, I mean the, the religious, no, I'm sorry. The, the new year that starts, um, at Sukkot, a cyclical Bible reading. Um, typically that's when people would begin reading the Torah through. There's a Torah portion cycle, um, that goes from, the end of Sukkot through next through the following year um, but for me I just wanted to start over reading the Bible all the way through in a year again well a year or however if it doesn't take me a year that's also fine but um, I wanted to read it in a different translation than I did last time last time I hopped between the tree of life and the CSB which both of which I really enjoy reading and studying with this translation I chose because of its readability, um, and I just love the way that the translator did this. Listen, if you don't like the tr this translation, you don't have to tell me. It's fine. I used to not like it. I used to think it was eh. Uh, then my pastor did some research into understanding the point and purpose of this particular translation and how it was done, and um, I think it's really fascinating and it's really interesting and I think it's really beautiful in modern language. It is the message translation, not the passion, very different, just the message translation of the Bible. I like this one in particular because it's beautiful, okay? The floral imprint on the front, the green and yellow, it makes me happy to look at when it's sitting out. It makes me happy to read it. I really just enjoy reading this translation. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more modern language, um, a little bit easier to understand, and um, still pretty true to the intention of the original authors, I, I like the message. I like it. Don't come at me. You can fight with me in the comments if you want, but I won't actually fight with you. If you're mean, I'll just leave comments. I don't have patience for people being mean. You can tell me you don't like it, but it's not going to change my mind. <laughs> Anyway, last thing, I'm going to apologize right now because these are my shoes and they're sandals, which means you can see the footbed and they are not clean because I have worn these shoes almost every single day since I purchased them this summer, almost every single day. If you don't know, if we haven't talked about this before, I wear almost exclusively minimalist and barefoot shoes. We're going to have a video about that at some point. We need to talk about it. It's very important for not just the health of your feet, but your entire body, your knees, your hips, your back, all of it. Stop with the artificial arch support. You're not supporting your feet. You're weakening them. Anyway, <laughs> my earth runners. I have a friend at church. She is on her third pair of Earthrunner sandals. Her first pair lasted her three years with nearly daily wear. Her second pair lasted her nearly three years with almost daily wear. So she's now on to her third pair. Um, that, and I know how, she literally does wear them probably 350 days a year. Um, they hold up beautifully. They're comfortable once you're used to barefoot shoes and get them properly adjusted. They do take some fiddling to get the straps right. I wear them almost every single day. I'm actually starting to panic a little bit because the weather is cooling down and I do have my Lems boots that I really like, like my lace-up boots, but I need a shoe that's a little bit dressier. 
It's not like a, it's like a work slash hiking boot style. I need something a little bit dressier, but that's still minimalist and barefoot. And I have yet to find it. But these, guys, so, so good. So, so good. I love them. I adore them. I will always have a pair of Earth Runners in my collection of shoes that I wear all the time. They're amazing. Okay, that's it. I told you guys it was a very random collection of the things that I have been enjoying and loving and have bringing, been bringing me joy and I've been using and well, I thought this would just be a fun video and hopefully you have had a good time. I have had a good time. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Until next week, be blessed, be a blessing, and remember that you are very, very loved.